Nicolas Sarkozy won the election, but it might come at a high cost. His trouble with the law in part stems from his 2007 campaign to win a second term as president of the French Republic. Suspicions of influence peddling surfaced as his chain of finance was being investigated. Scrutiny centered on late Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi. He made a highly publicized visit to Paris after Sarkozy had regained the Elysee. This was the first invitation extended to Gaddafi by a Western head of state since the end of his pariah treatment as a sponsor of terrorism, which had begun in the 1980s. How relations changed between 2007 and 2011. Then Gaddafi said he'd funded Sarkozy's re-election. A few days later, as part of Western action to police the Arab Spring uprising, French warplanes bombed Libya. Yeah. Through Euronews, one of the colonel's sons said there was no room for doubt. Saif so al-Islam Gaddafi yeah. said, first of all, Sarkozy's got to give back the money he accepted from Libya to finance his election campaign. It came from us, and we have the proof. All the details, bank accounts, transfer documents, we're ready to reveal everything soon. The investigation into whether there is any truth to this includes a legal recording of a phone conversation between Sarkozy and his lawyer Thierry Herzog. Questions were raised over right of confidentiality. The former president is suspected of having tried to obtain information through Herzog about his case from Judge Gilbert in return for help advancing his career. The left-leaning French online investigative journal Mediapart published transcripts of phone calls allegedly by Sarkozy using a mobile under the name of a former friend, Paul Bismuth, a property developer living in Israel, to evade monitoring of Sarkozy's own cell phone. Mediapart journalist Fabrice Arfi says since Sarkozy left the Elysee, he's put in place a real black cabinet, a network of informers hidden throughout the state apparatus. Not just one or two, but many, which allowed him to be kept informed of the investigations underway, not for fun, but to impede the normal course of justice. Before any return to French political Formula One, Sarkozy would have to clear the track of several probes, not only about alleged Libyan campaign money and influence peddling.